So I probably got a few seconds to talk about this because this is probably on your story or you're just looking at it real quick. But long story short, I've been choosing pornography, you know, as a way of escape and it's getting in the way of my productivity. And yeah, just want to put it out there publicly. I was in my prayer time realizing that, hey, I talk about vulnerability and it, it brings so much freedom in everything that I do. So as it says in a word, you know, confess and forsake these things. So I'm putting it out there. Pornography has been in my life. Uh, you know, it's been something I've been fighting like a lot of people. So, you know, for some of those that feel alone or feel like they're the only ones dealing with it. Nah, some of the some of the people that you look up to, some people that you you rock with, they got struggle. They got sin. As it says in first John, you know, whoever claims to be without sin makes God out to be a liar. So for me to use a public platform to build my life, build my ministry, I got to I got to share the good and the bad. So that's where we at. You know, it's definitely affecting my content production, um, but that's why we're here. We're in this together. This is still for the Lord, for the people. And when it comes to going to God, it it, it requires you to be pure. So that's where I'm going for. It's not a holier than now. It's a strive to be holy. And that comes with confession and laying yourself out bare uh, for people to you know, decide what they want, you know, for people to ridicule or people to build up and help out. So, you know, I'm asking for help, some accountability and uh, also just forgiveness for those who um, really have been affected within that industry. Um, you know, I don't know any of those people that I've watched or have uh, used selfishly to indulge in my flesh, but I apologize to those people publicly because we make a decision to support something that is evil, something that is destructive. Uh, it starts with simply just clicking. So, you know, that's me laying it out, trying to be an example of someone who is imperfect, but is grateful for a perfect God that has uh, transformed my life completely. It's been mind blowing to think about how far I've came, uh, even in the midst of my struggle to think about when pornography started for me at a young age, like a lot of people, but how frequent, how consistent, how destructive it was throughout my life. Uh, but even to this day, when I have those moments, when I make that decision, God still finds a way to redirect me back to him. And he finds a way to find glory, even in our craziest decisions. Because when we think about it, like pornography, uh, you know, and everything that follows, uh, it's crazy. It's a crazy decision. It's foolish and it doesn't do anything for anybody. It's a temporary gratification that has long-term consequences. So, you know, I'm learning how to be disciplined and recognizing when lust is in my heart, when I'm seeing different things, stress and all that stuff. And when it comes to this life and evaluation, sometimes in the midst of evaluating, you you still fall into the decisions that you're trying to avoid so yeah we're traveling we had the busiest month ever ever and in the midst of that month i allowed the bad habit of uh watching pornography and just leisure time to escape even when it's not pornography it's just escaping you know indulging in content that doesn't build up it it, it really um you know got in the way of my ministry so we back on it. Um, you know, I just asked for prayer, accountability, and forgiveness, and we're gonna keep this thing going. I'm not one to allow guilt to move me in any direction. I'm all about God's grace, and that's what keeps me fired up to do great things for him, regardless of what happens. So that's where we at right now. Keeping it short and sweet, sweet, and uh, we keeping it moving. I'm still plotting though, I'm still planning, reevaluating for the fall. So, you know, the stop, the little break, the, the stopping of content is it all because of sin. It is still strategic. It is still something that I needed to do to get ready for this next season. So appreciate everybody's support. This has been crazy um, in a good way uh, as far as how much I've been able to just see a community come together, uh, help each other grow in our arts and our faith and our devotion. And I want to keep that thing going. So y'all know what it is. It's Bryce G for the Lord, for the people. We got the cookout Saturday. We got the show September 10th, FAMU. And that's only the beginning, more on the way. Tap into the Patreon. We got playlists, we got mixes, got a YouTube uh, channel on and popping, so don't miss out. Peace out.